obviously we're really pleased with our guys, you know, just how they respond to the incident. You know, Nate's a tough kid and he was able to get right back up and kind of brought his team in together. And, you know, their focus was just on the next play. And he went right to the free throw line and made two free throws. So you uh, you have to appreciate that. And, and again, I'm really proud of him for that. So after, you know, getting some sleep and waking up this morning, is he OK, coach? Is, is Nate OK, head OK and everything? Yeah, he's doing well. He was able to finish the game yesterday. Again, go down on the line and, and knock two free throws right after that and, and finish the game. So he's doing well. We're going to continue to monitor him. Um, but, yeah, Nate's a tough kid. What's your impression as you're watching the game, coaching the game, and then to see one of your players get hurt like that, get hit like that, what were you thinking, Coach? Yeah, honestly, in the live action, we didn't see much um, just because the shot was up. We're all watching the ball kind of go through the net. And then next thing you know, one of our guys is on the ground. Um, and like I said, Nate's a trooper. Um, Nate just got right up and – their focus was on next play. Our team's focus was on next play. So we were seeing how the officials were going to handle the situation and really what, you know, the result was going to be. Were we going to the line to shoot two free throws? Were we going to take the ball out of bounds? You know, what, what was it going to be? What do you think they should do with Kiwan? Yeah, so they're, you know, they're, we trust that they're going to handle all of that stuff. Um, that's in Fitchburg's hands. They've already released a statement. So we completely trust that they're going to handle that the right way and we'll continue to handle that the right way. What has Nate said about all this, Coach? Uh, again, Nate's a competitor. He's happy that we won the game. You know, now he's focused on getting ready for Saturday's game. And that, that's the biggest thing for us. You as a coach and not wanting any of your guys to get in, into any trouble, I imagine you were proud that everyone kept their cool and didn't try to go fight anybody uh, out of re retaliation. Yeah, so we have a lot of older guys in this team, you know, guys that have really been through it all. Um, and they understand the importance of, you know, every situation. And, and they know what it's like just to bring guys in as a group. That doesn't mean they don't have anybody's back. You know, everybody in the team supports Nate. Um, and right there through that process, it was getting him up off the ground, bringing it in, and then sending him right to the line. Um, and that's, uh, again, that's that's what our leadership's about. And we have older guys that have been through it. So they, they understand, you know, what a retaliation might mean in terms of consequences and things like that. So their focus is on the next play.